Welcome back friends of cocktails to part 2 of how to prepare for a cocktail competition and hopefully win. If you haven't already, check out our last week's episode with my first winning cocktail. Today we'll build on the lessons we learned in the previous week. I'll show you how I made the cocktail I named the 1887. This is a rum old fashioned twist with a woody coca cola foam on top. I'm really proud of this one, so trust me, it's a lot more than just rum and coke. So get your sous vide ready, it's cocktail time. The 1887 was created for the Brugal Perfection 2020, the cocktail competition hosted by Brugal Adria in Slovenia, Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. And it's not even over yet. Due to Covid, the super finals for the best cocktails, including the winners, hasn't happened yet. Three bartenders will be awarded with the visit of the home of Brugal Rum, the Dominican Republic. Hopefully this will be possible in 2021. Keep your fingers crossed. But let's remember rule number one. Make sure to read the rules carefully. The big one here was to use this as the base spirit. The 1888 takes its name from the year that Brugal was founded in the Dominican Republic by Don Andres Brugal. It's double distilled, then aged in American oak barrels and finished in first filled Spanish oak sherry casks, helping to accentuate the rich, fruity sweetness of the spirit. According to Brugal, the 1888 is made to be savored sip by sip, either neat or in an old-fashioned. Like we said, it's good to base your competition cocktail around brand's ideas and values. And an old-fashioned, made with the right choice of bitters, can really enhance the notes of the spirit. To give the cocktail the crown it deserves, I decided to make a foam from a woody version of Coca-Cola. I've tried their signature mixers at the Bar Convent Berlin and they tasted great. These were created in collaborations with some of the world's top mixologists to enhance the formula and the four signature notes of the most consumed soda in the world. I figured that woody notes would play really well with my cocktail, but since I couldn't get these mixers in Slovenia, I decided to make my own version and turned it into foam. I'll tell you how and why. We'll first infuse our coke with some woody notes and give it extra body before making it stable enough to be able to create a rich foam. We don't want the carbonation at this part of the process so try to get the bubbles out of the coke for now. Did the fact that Coca-Cola is also a distributor for Brugal in some of the Balkan countries play a role in me using it for this cocktail competition? I'd love to tell you and give you a hint for future cocktail competitions about paying attention to little things like that, but since this competition is still ongoing, I can neither confirm nor deny this statement. Then add some bourbon wood chips. that extra smoky aroma will char some of the wood chips on both sides. And since Brugal is aged in ex bourbon casks, we'll add some American whiskey with a strong woody taste. And lastly, to enhance some of the nice spicy notes, we'll add crushed allspice berries. We'll cook this sous vide for 4 hours at 65 degrees Celsius or 150 Fahrenheit. As you can see, homemade ingredients were allowed at this competition, as long as the whole procedure was specified and added to the recipe. This meant I was able to experiment a bit more than I did with Senorita Picante. My thought process around creating cocktails had changed a lot in the two years between the two competitions, so I was confident in this procedure, which is super important. When making and presenting your cocktail in front of the judges and your peers, you want to be cool, calm and collected. Trust me, it's hard to have fun if you're not sure what you're doing. After filtering our infused cola into a pot and heating it up, we'll add half of a softened gelatin sheet.
Once that dissolves, let the mixture cool down to room temperature before straining it into a cream whipper. We went through a similar process with the Kalua coffee foam for the inverted white Russian. What we were making here was actually the inspiration for what turned out to be the most viewed video of my channel. Fill the cream whipper with a nitrogen cartridge, shake it up and place it in the fridge for at least 2 hours. Or until your cocktail competition. Be ready to make this cocktail. And just as important, tell you, today's judges, the story behind the 1887. The story starts in the year 1887, and Don Andres Brugal Montagnier just migrated from Cuba to the Dominican Republic. He sets off on the mission to create a perfect drink and bring joy and pride to the people of this beautiful island. He was armed with his newfound knowledge of making rum, and a secret recipe he got from an American friend, who introduced the ingredient one year earlier, in 1886 in Atlanta, Georgia. Don Andres started experimenting. He added just the right amounts of sweetness. Then he balanced that with bitterness of red fruits, cherries being his favorite. And since he was an old fashioned kind of a guy, he added an orange peel. He knew there would be no place on the top of the drink. Then he added his beloved rum. This wasn't ready to be released to the public yet, maybe in a year or so. He could hardly imagine the heritage he was holding in his hands, and that it would continue to be proudly crafted by the Brugal family for at least five generations in Puerto Plata. Local support meant a lot to Don Andres, so it was important to me to serve this cocktail in handmade clay pots from a local potter, with a color similar to Brugal's rum and a distinctive netting, it's a perfect vessel for this drink. But it was after adding the final ingredient, the foamy crown on his cocktail, that Don Andres Brugal Montagnier realized this cocktail was too good for 1887. He marked the year on his recipe, sealed it in a jar, and set his goal to start making one of the most popular rums in the Caribbean. And the cocktail recipe would not be found again until 2020. Then that was the year the people really needed it. I was lucky to find the recipe for 1887, and now that I've shared it with you, I hope you'll try it too. Let's give it a taste. Since we didn't squeeze the orange peel on top, the aroma is not that what typical old fashioned, but comes mainly from the cola foam, that also gives it a wonderful mouthfeel, through which the full bodied Brugal 1888 shines with notes of vanilla, red fruits, and natural oak spice. These fruit and oak notes are enriched by the maraschino and cherry bitters. The foam which is not long-lasting, provides a pleasant but not overpowering sensation of smoked wood. With this cocktail I wanted to highlight what is known in the Caribbean as La Perfection de Leron, and I had a blast making it. If you take anything from these two episodes, make sure you enjoy the process, have fun creating something new, embrace the opportunity to grow and try new spirits and combinations. You'll meet new people and create lasting connections, even if it's virtual for now. We'll be back soon. Cheers! If you take anything from these two episodes, make sure to... Due to COVID... <coughs> but let's remember... <coughs> but let's rem... <coughs> but let's... But let's remember rule number one. Check it. <clears throat> this is the end of the video. If you want to see more cocktail recipes and more bloopers, check this out. And think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.